live from your 24-hour news source. This is breaking news from Wish TV. 20 years ago, I thought we had decay on the run. It has come back with a huge vengeance. And what you drink to cool down or re-energize is to blame. IT Mate reveals the drinks that destroy teeth. It's both the sugar and the acid that are creating havoc with our teeth. The surprising culprit may be sitting in your refrigerator right now. Next, an IT Mate experiment right here in our studios exposes the serious damage that some say is caused by sports drinks. Well, look at any group of kids and chances are you're going to see a can of pop or a sports drink in their hands, especially the athletes. And now IT Mate's Karen Hensel has found that what you drink and when can have a major impact on your teeth. Yeah, Debbie and Eric, dentists say that the kids are literally drinking their teeth away. Our kids reach for a sports drink and we think, great, that's better than pop, right? Wrong. In fact, it's worse. What every kid wants. Pop, energy, sports drinks. Milk is no longer the number one drink in America. In a push for healthier schools, pop was taken out, sports drinks put in. But Indiana dentists say the drinks can be devastating. 20 years ago, I thought we had decay on the run. It has come back with a huge vengeance. Okay, open. It's, it's both the sugar and the acid that are creating havoc with their teeth. This 21-year-old has rampant decay. Five years ago, not one cavity. This 30-year-old did lawn service and took a two liter of Mountain Dew every day. This is now in a major, major rehabilitation. Then there is Wes Brimmer, a Burbuff High School athlete and graduate. I think I drank a lot of Gatorade because that's what my parents thought would be the best thing for me after baseball practices and during baseball games, so we always had a ton of Gatorade in the house. He drank three Gatorades a day. I would sip on it throughout classes, just, you know, take a drink, put it down, do take notes. Um, then after practice, I would chug half the Gatorade down and then sip it until I got home. Remember that. More on how sipping sunk him in a moment. No cavities before braces. <laughs> this this little area here is a cavity. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's a cavity. But 18 months later, 12 cavities from the acid. It's literally eating your tooth away. Literally. Like I said, he's in college. This is going to follow him the rest of his life. He's probably into many restorations, the first of which we just did. According to a study at the University of Iowa, just one day soaking in Gatorade, Red Bull, or Coke ate into the hard enamel surface of teeth. There are 10 teaspoons of sugar just in this 12-ounce Coke. But there's something worse. And it's not necessarily just the sugars. It's the acid you're worried about. Absolutely. The double whammy with the acid is it softens the tooth. And so now you have all the, the last 50 years that we have spent educating people about fluoride, making their teeth harder, is going down the drain. The acid literally softens and thins the tooth enamel. So within the profession, if somebody comes and sits in my chair and they have, have cavities at the, at the gum line, well, kind of at the cheek side, um, we call that Mountain Dew mouth. Gatorade was the worst offender, etching the enamel the deepest. Next was Red Bull, followed by Coke. Just take a look at these hard-boiled eggs soaked overnight. Monster actually eats the first <gasps> layer of oh the my tooth. Oh my gosh. Isn't that kind of fun? <laughs> it's like peeling it away. Yeah, I know. And turns it brown. The egg soaked in milk? The great part about milk is that egg is harder. It's getting harder. It's getting harder. We know we aren't going to get every kid to stop drinking pop, energy, and sports drinks. But if you do drink them, there are some ways to lessen the damage. Drink it cold. If room temperature, there's more acid to attack the teeth. Drink the sports drink before the game when you aren't dehydrated. You have no saliva. You take Gatorade, so you're throwing acid directly on the your enamel. Don't immediately brush your teeth afterwards. The acid has softened your enamel. Guess what? You are brushing away part of your enamel. Drink it with food, a straw, and all at once. Dentists say, sip all day, get decay. Once you take a drink of a, of a very acidic drink, it takes several hours for it, that enamel to reharden. One mom has already found her solution. A mother of three, she has a rule in the Logan house. 
I would tell parents that if you have a Gatorade, you have a Powerade, that's fine. But drink about a bottle, fill it right up with water right after you're done. She buys electrolyte drops to put into water, less acid, but similar effect. I laughed at first thinking we were going to do it, but then she ended up sticking to it. Gatorade stopped being bought in the house and it was all electrolytes after that. For Dennis, the drinks are creating a lifelong legacy for an entire generation. I used to feel that if I could get my young men and, and young ladies graduating high school without cavities, that they were golden. But they were coming home from college with six, seven, and eight cavities. Meanwhile, Indiana dentists are hoping the drink of champions will make milk number one again. Not everyone agrees. Ohio State studied 300 athletes and found no connection between the drinks, foods, and dental erosion. And in 2005, the Gatorade Sports Science Institute found if sports drinks had any effect, it was to decrease dehydration and increase the saliva flow, which would then reduce cavities. Now, we are going to conduct an experiment overnight, putting these hard-boiled eggs into the sports drinks, into the energy drinks, the pop, and then, of course, the milk, which is going to harden the tooth. The shell is comparable to your enamel and again it's the acid that we are looking at so make sure you tune in tomorrow morning that is on daybreak at 6 30 to find out how it does just overnight and think that would be just one drink. Got my attention yeah, thanks I'm, Karen. I'm going to be tuning in to see that. <laughs> Karen thank you. And we're continuing to track a weather